So the one thing that gets a lot of uh, publicity and really very recently has had a lot of publicity is understanding whether there might be a genetic or familial predisposition to cancer in a family. When we see p families where there's early onset breast cancer, meaning women who develop breast cancer at age less than 40, when there are bilateral breast cancers, meaning women that have cancer on both sides, and when there's breast and ovarian cancer in the same family, those are some red flags that there might be an inherited mutation that's causing the cancer in that family. And that's important because we can actually now do blood tests that will look for those gene mutations. The most common genes that are associated with familial breast cancer are BRCA1 and BRCA2. And there are tests to look at and to see whether a woman carries a mutation in one of those genes. That's important because with the BRCA mutation, the risk of developing breast cancer can be as high as 50 to 85 percent over a woman's lifetime. And in addition, women with BRCA mutations have about a 10 to 40 percent chance of developing ovarian cancer. One thing that's been in the press quite recently is Angelina Jolie and her family. She came forward with the information that she had a BRCA1 mutation. She had not developed breast cancer, but she did have a family history of, I believe, ovarian cancer in her mom. And so what she decided to do was to be proactive and have surgery to reduce her risk of developing cancer. That's certainly an option for women with BRCA mutations. When women have those levels of risk, we often consider doing prophylactic surgery, meaning prophylactic mastectomy, removal of the breasts, or prophylactic oophorectomy, removal of the ovaries, to prevent those women from developing cancer in the future. If women choose not to have those surgeries, we can offer those women um, a more aggressive program of screening so that if they do develop cancer, particularly breast cancer, we can pick that up at an early and more treatable stage. They're actually not all that common in the general population. We think maybe somewhere around 5 to 10 percent of breast cancers that occur in women in the U.S. are associated with gene mutation in BRCA1 or BRCA2.